As far as I'm concerned, you really can no longer be a competent and effective manager if you're not focusing on sustainability issues. It's not enough to be good at finance or human resources or strategy or be good at media relations. You've got to focus on these issues because it's becoming a bigger and bigger piece of the puzzle. And so I do believe that in, as this century transpires, the definition of an effective manager will include sustainability issues. I mean, it may be that uh, currently somebody like a Donald Trump who says you're fired may be considered to be a good manager. But in the long run, that's not really what's going to make a good manager. A good manager is going to be somebody who pays attention to these kinds of issues. I think a growing number are, and I would say that the best-run companies, by definition, are paying more attention to these issues. In a sense, that's what makes them a well-run company. If, you know, I mean, think about it a different way. Let's say you're known for wasting water and energy and polluting the environment and being sued by people because you're harming them. Is that the definition of a well-run organization? I don't think so. A company that pays attention to its operations, that's careful, that uses as little uh, water and energy as possible in producing goods and services, is almost by definition a better run company than its opposite. Somebody who's a, a management person, which is what I do, if you don't measure something, uh, you can't manage it because without measurement you can't tell if what you're doing is making things get better or worse. So in the case of the economy, until they develop the gross national product or gross domestic product as a measure of the size of the economy, you couldn't have national economic policy. The same thing is true of sustainability. Until you measure uh, the sustainability of water and energy and food and other kinds of resources, uh, it's very difficult to manage for those goals. And there's a great deal of work going on right now to try to figure out, well, how do we measure this? What's up? What's down? Uh, and we're not there yet. It's going to take another 10 or 20 years before we really have the metrics that we need.